Good night, how's it going? My name's AJ, and welcome back to Final Fantasy 15. As you can see, we are now a mile point three three away from our final mission for this chapter of the game. Um, I've been riding the Chocobos now for about ten minutes, so I'm not near the cave from the last episode anymore. But I'm still quite a fair way away from uh, getting the regalia back. So. The next mission is called Engage in the Empire. I'm guessing there's going to be a lot of fighting. I am not into wildlife. More of a pet guy. Stop bitching. Start killing. Okay, thank you, Gladios and Prompto and whatever. Ooh, fishing spot. Got to keep that in mind. So yes, we've still got a long way to go. And I have learned that there are indeed 15 chapters with the last one being... Uh, how should I put it? Your ancestors have Optional. our backs, and the gods are on our side. How cool is that? Very, when you put it that way. Empire will get what's coming to him. Certainly doesn't seem as unlikely as it once did. Thanks, guys, for the updates on everything. So we got the rune stones. We got. We're working on getting all of the powers of the ancestors, aka get their weapons. We're not doing too bad, and they are currently sitting at over 4,000 XP each. They can at least level up once before the end of this chapter. I haven't really done any of the usual stuff. I am tired of those things. I ignore them. They don't even offer good XP, or reward for that matter. They just take up a... They're just a big waste of time. Anyway. Oh, wow. Wow, wow. Why did I go this... Wow. Trees. Everywhere. Oh god, okay, you're getting away from the trees. Quite honestly, I would rather That must feel good. <laughs> Not! You gotta try this! Nah, I think they heard you. Okay. <clears throat> so we've been <laughs> this has been one of the longest chocobo rides I've ever done. Even when it came to the uh, cave, all the way over there. All this time, he was the chancellor. I'd had suspicions, but that was well beyond it. He's awfully friendly for an enemy leader. Okay, guys, you need to stop interrupting me when I'm trying to talk. God damn it! <laughs> so yes, we're still we're a long way away from where the cave was now. I've been riding so long, I think I've gained 2 AP from it, and two AP is gained after a certain amount of travelling distance has been acquired. I'd say I've passed well beyond this. I've also taken the liberty of downloading all of the episodes, so... What is the king's calling, exactly? Well, become best buds with the guards, maybe? Legend has it the king once stood alongside the Six in the battle to banish the darkness. Darkness seems awfully vague. Alright, uh, are you guys done interrupting me for far out? Anyway. You know what, I've lost, they've interrupted me that many times, I've lost my train of thought enough times and I'm just gonna stop talking and I'll get back to you if something happens. Okay, we're now within the, the 1000 feet mark. Finally, god damn it. Oh no. I'm not fighting them. Uh-uh. Take up too much of my time. I think I see the Imperial base anyway. Alright. I think it'll be... Here. Alright. Thank you, my boy. You have done me well. What the hell? What is going on over there? What is with the reds? Well, this can't be good. Uh, I see the Imperial base. Some kind of fortress. Yeah, a port of fortress. Those walls don't look so portable, though. They are remnants of the old wall. And the Imperial army has availed itself of the added protection. Entry will not be easy. Make camp at... Softmo Haven and devise an infiltration strategy. Alright, uh, good thing that's not too far away. We can go on foot from there. Plus, if we do this, Gladios' uh, little um, 
God, what is Gladiator's thing again? Oh my god, I have forgotten. Oh, well, good thing the cave is not that far. And we can get Elementsy while we're there. Oh, fine. My god. Oh, these, this thing. This thing was way above my skill level when I last encountered one. Take it out. That was quick. That was awesome. The last time I encountered one of those, it completely and utterly destroyed us. Not this time, though. Haha, <laughs> this time I'm immune to your shit. Alright, let's get the Elementsy first. Hello, Blizzara. Got 40 now. Oh, the rest of. Uh... Yeah, okay. Gotta get the fire and the thunder ones up anyway. Do 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 do. Boink. Alright, got fire and there's the thunder. <laughs> done and done. Okay, let's make camp, boys. We have to devise an infiltration point strategy, huh? I think it had something to do with the uh, Archean, you know, being killed. Uh, camp. It out under the stars tonight. <laughs> All right. Hopefully, we got enough food to make something decent. A whole day has, el has elapsed since the start of this chapter, so I've been really onto it this time. Uh, what are you going to make this time, Ignis? What do we got? We got a lot to choose from. Could just do cup noodles. I need someone's favorite. Ooh, what's that do? Um, nah. Trying to find a decent one. Oh, that's probably the best one, quite honestly. Um. Ah, uh, we're good. <laughs> oh, now I'm hungry. Ooh. I hate the graphics of this game when it comes to the food. The food's probably got more graphics in it than any other part. <laughs> and we got. Uh, we didn't really get much uh, XP. Ignis's cooking has gone up. Oh, survival. That's what Gladiosis is. Okay, uh, save that one because that was a good one. Perfect timing. No, no. Yeah, okay. No. Man, this place was crawling with nasties. I love that photo because of the eyes. The eyes are what so sells this it. This one's pretty good. I know. I dig it too. No. I don't want photos of the chocobos. Alright, devising a plan, boys. So many bright ideas, Ignis. A dark one, as it were. A frontal assault would leave us exposed. But if we move under cover of night, we might be able to infiltrate the base unnoticed. And until then, we learn all we can about the base's design and attempt to narrow down the Regalia's location. I'll analyze what intelligence we have available to find us a way in. Sounds good, Specs. All right, we're gonna get our wheels back. Noctis must retrieve the Regalia before morning. Begin the operation? Yes. Undaunted by the Empire's imposing technology, Noctis and his retinue risk everything to break inside a Arachiol stronghold and recover the stolen regalia. Arachiol? I, I don't know if that's right. That is a lot of Imperials. 
That is a... Wow, that is a lot. Our goal is the Regalia. The last thing we want is to engage an entire garrison. Avoid detection at all costs. In and out before it gets light, then. Indeed. Even if it means leaving the task unfinished, we withdraw before we overstay our welcome. All right, we are in. Together on my signal. Until then, hold position. Three. Two. What are we doing? One. Okay. Now. Going in, boys. Stop. What? Search lights. We're clear. Tread warily. All right. So follow Ignis. This is bad. It's got Magitek armor. Don't want to mess with one of those. We shouldn't have to if we keep to the shadows. Right. We're looking for the regalia. Ooh. I feel the stress. spot. One hit, one kill. Well, that was a shite. Go this way. All right. Avoiding the searchlights. Oh dear. Okay, no. <laughs> no. No, no, no. Son of a Prompto. generator of some description it would explain why the troopers in the vicinity are uncommonly strong I say we wreck it spare us the sneaking around the risk is too great finding the regalia comes first not a sound you'll alert the anime got it Come on, we're get, getting this. I prefer that approach. I'm not one for stealth unless yep. it's Assassin's Creed. I rock that shit in Assassin's Creed. Uh, 
Okay, here we go again. This way. I say this way. Woohoo! Oh, the regalia! There's the old girl. She's a real sight for sore eyes. And none the worse for her time in Imperial hands. All right, you got it. Let's take it out. Not really. Oh. I realize that, Ignis. Thank you. I'm going, going, going. Take out the snipers as well because they're annoying. Hey, I'm the one who does all the hits here. Oh, there it is, I think. Okay, I might have changed the plan up a bit here. Um, we need a quick potion. Screw you, buddy. Where the hell is this? Oh, what is this? I'll pick it up later. I can't seem to find those damn things. Where are they? I was certain there was one up here. Whatever. Go that way. <laughs> oh, there it is. I see it now. I love it. But how am I going to get over there? <laughs> Biggest problem I'm seeing right now. How the hell am I going to... Ooh. Wait, didn't I come this way? I came this way, didn't I? God damn it. Alright. You win. The thingy, there's a thingy. I have stuff to do. Destroy a generator. Stealth is out the window. It does indeed. Ignis, it does indeed. Oh no you don't. Oh, beautiful! <laughs> oh, such a shame I can take out the Mega Tech armor so quickly. Oh, this is beautiful stuff. I'm going to take out the generator, you watch. I'm going to do it. There it is. You wanna play? Take 
Take it out. Take it out. Uh oh. Oh, Gladio, you're here! Oh, I don't have enough. Alright, these guys are annoying. Go to hell. Bye. Wait. Wait. Oh, yes. Um, yeah, no. Sorry. I'm not letting you kill Noctis here. Sorry. This ends now. How do I operate? Let's do this. Chaos. At its finest. Oh, what the? Wow. Wait. How do I summon? I want to try that. Okay, this is actually quite cool, but I don't understand what's going on. Destroy the generator and they all fall, apparently. Garrison is weakened with the Magitech, without the Magitech generator. Now is your chance to deal a, the basic no crippling chance. blow. Does he? Oh, I'm pretty sure it's an easy fix. <laughs> Done. Wait, I'm summoning, but... Trigger happy, ain't they? Oh, yes. That is awesome. Wow! <laughs> Piece of cake, huh? Hmm. This part is. Inadvertent though it was, we dealt the Empire a crushing blow today. The Marshal will be pleased to hear of this. Willie, I'm not too sure. Pretty sweet, busting up that base. <gasps> bust a base. I like the sound of that for this sort of thing. Uh, there's a base. We go in and bust it up. Bust a base. Whatever. I'm calling it that. You don't have to. I won't. Seems a bit flippant. Why not go for something a little more epic? Because I thought of it first. So that's the name. Bust a base. Get used to it. Uh, shut Easier up. Easier said than done. it be Noctis. Bravis. You received the storm's blessing, and yet you know nothing of the consequences. Watch it. Be still, all of you. Not good. Heir to a crown befitting no other. Witness his splendor and glory. All hail the chosen king. 
Awful high and mighty for an Imperial rat. Serving the enemy to hunt down Luna. I do not serve. I command. The King's Sworn Shield. You better believe it. A weak shield protects not. <laughs> Let's do it. Should the chosen fall, that too is fate. I'd say that's far enough. A hand, Highness. Not from you. Oh, but I'm here to help. And how is that? By taking the army away. You expect us to believe that? When next we meet, it'll be across the seas. Just so happens, we have business of our own with the tutelary deity, don't we? Fare thee well, your majesty. And safe travels. You guys know that guy? Ravus Nox Fleuray, first son of Tenebrae, and elder brother to Lady Luna Freyo. How does that work? How? At long last, the Imperial blockades of Disgaean roadways have been removed. The Imperial Army has also demolished all related facilities erected around the region. The provisional government of Insomnia anticipates increased traffic congestion along most local highways and encourages all citizens to refrain from any unnecessary travel for the time being. So help me figure this out. That was Luna's brother? The High Commander himself. Wartime makes for quick promotions. Even a son of Tenebrae can rise to the top. But why would he want to lead their army? Who cares? Certainly formidable enough on his own. Ugh. If Ravis wants power, I'll give him a taste. Alright, uh, I'm still failing to understand why the brother of Lady Luna Freya, the oracle in this game, might I add, is the general of... I don't understand this. Uh, whatever. Kinda get over it eventually. But I'm happy we got the regalia back. This makes things ev this makes everything so much easier. So much easier. Can't end this episode though, we gotta return to Lestolem first. So I'll see you guys in Lestolem, shall I? Woohoo! We made it! Alright, let's park our bums up, shall we? Oh. Oh, why'd you stop and then resume driving? Uh, whatever. It was interesting to see, um, Arden come along and save us. That was interesting enough. Oh. Whew. Excuse me. So what's next? Ask around a little? It's up to Noct. How about we go see Iris? Because that's what the mission says to do. I was actually rather intrigued to see Gladio get his butt handed to him. That was rather an interesting development, to say the least. And quite surprising. He is the strongest of the party, but... I don't know, that, that was interesting. Is Eris even here still? I hope so. Oh, there she is. Oh, buddy. What's wrong? I let you down. I never made it to Kayem. The Empire came while you were gone. They what? None of us said a word about Noct. They just showed up and then... <sighs> Poor Jared. What do you mean? What happened to Jared? There was nothing we could do! Stop them! But 
I won't let the Empire get away with it. They'll pay for what they've done. I promise. I believe in you, Prince Noctis. <laughs> I'm taking Talcott, and we're going to Kayim. We... We can't just stay here and do nothing. I understand. But all the good, we still lost someone in the Imperium. That sucks! God, that sucks so much. I like that. That one's actually pretty good. Immortal Photobomb. I like the photo of Ravis there. That's. God damn. The feels. That was weird. Chapter 6, A Way Forward. Beneath the Cape Cayam Light in the south of Kligny lies an underground harbour. It has long served the Lucian royalty, and even now a vessel once owned by King Regis lies at anchor there. Following in his father's footsteps, Noctis heads for the ship. So we'll all be heading for that ship. Awesome. Unbelievable. I still can't get over that, that old fella. Jared. What met his end at the Imperium. Imperium are dicks. <laughs> There's no other way about it. They're dicks. But we're at chapter 6 now. We're cruising through this game. Not doing too bad, I'd say. Not too bad at all. Oh. Ooh, several days later. I can't let her go it alone. After everything that went down, it'll be a squeeze in the car. But just for a while. Will it? Will it really, though? Shall we, then? Yeah, I don't want to keep Sid and Cindy waiting. They're fixing up the boat as we speak. We ought to thank them. Actually, Jared's the one we ought to thank. Yeah. He really thought of everything. No, I can't. No, <laughs> stop. Alright, so that's enough for this episode of Final Fantasy XV. Next episode, we set sail, hopefully. So we will be heading for the ship soon. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Uh, we will continue on Chapter 6 in the next one. Um, if you did enjoy this episode, make sure to leave a thumbs up and go check out links down below to the Final Fantasy XV playlist as well as all my social medias. And be sure to subscribe, like, and follow. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.